So, uh, look at Palm 3.2 with uh, WebOS 2.0. We're going to take a, just a quick look at some of the new features in WebOS 2.0 here. So one of the key ones that we came out with WebOS 1.0, we had multicast. It's great. You can actually go through. You can look at different, the different applications. There's cards. You can see everything. What you see a little bit here is that it's actually sewing cards together now. So we have a concept called Stacks. And what Stacks are is allows me to go through whether I'm in Facebook or whether I'm in email. And I can have an email open. I can launch an app an email out so I can start writing an email, but I keep it all together. So I had launched a browser page previously, I've got a new email, but it's all what I'm trying to do with one area and how I'm tasking between it. So I can very quickly go to other tasks or I come back and try to and go back to where I was to see everything around it. And when you've got the stack here, you can click on any of those three yeah, items. I can click on any of those three to actually launch it. If it comes down that I don't want it connected, again, like we did before, you just move it off and make it its own stack. But really trying to make a much better multitasking experience, how you want to use the device. And, and our stacks are, are they basically sequential? You know, if I open this, then that, then that, it's so one it, of the other. If I'm in a web page and I open another link that I want to open a new card from, so I'll bring another browser and it'll link it together. If I'm an open table and I click on a menu, it'll launch a browser and keep them together. So I see open table plus the menu I went to, plus Google Maps if I wanted to, all in one place. So really trying to get it so you can see everything that makes sense and how you brought it together. So it's not a email's all in one place and Facebook's all in another place. Um, but yeah, speaking of Facebook, we worked with them a lot on this. So the Facebook app, we're actually really proud of right now. So we went through in the new version of it, we allow multiple cards. So I can have my profile open, I can have my pictures open. You can really easily just tap on it. So whatever I want to do on Facebook, if I want to actually go through and see, see any events I have, see how good I am for them. I don't have events today. But going through, if I have anything that I have in Facebook, I just have open. But I can keep multiple cards open so I can keep my, my if I'm looking at just my profile, if I'm looking that I want to see my, just my inbox of everything that's going through, any messages I had, or if I want to go through in this case, open another card, it lets me have a lot of different things I can look at at Facebook. And there's my news feed. And also as you're doing the, the news feeds or anything else of what's coming in, you can organize your news feeds by type of information coming in so it's not just everything thrown at you, but you can actually start organizing them directly. Like you try to do when you're on the web page, we really try to make a mobile app act the same way. And your Facebook contacts are integrated with the operating yeah. system. Yeah, the, the, all of them go into the operating system. You actually merge together, so not merge as in directly, but you can see them together with all of your exchange or your Google or what have you. So that if I'm trying to call Bob, I can see all Bob's numbers. I don't have to jump around between different places. The other one that we actually took is we had something called Universal Search in one. We really went forward to expand that, and we now call it Just Type. And you can sort of see if you want to on the top, we actually put, the, put some graphics there so people can see where it was. But how you normally use it is you just start typing. So you open the keyboard up, and I'll type sideways here. So if I'm starting here, I'm just start typing milk, doing a, a grocery list. You again have your Google search you're going through. We added suggest to it. So, so, or I could just jump to Google if I do this like that. Yeah. I'll jump back here. No. As you're going through it, if you hit suggest, what it'll do is open it up and give you the little suggestions. So you don't have to go anywhere from it. You also have your traditional searches if you want. We enhance this so that you if a website uses something called open search, which is a standard web or search protocol on websites, and Time actually does as well as I was doing a little earlier. The website will come up and say, hey, do you want to use Time as a search piece? And we can actually add it to this list. So anybody that uses open search will actually come in here. They don't have to build any of the web OS, just as native in the web page. And then the one that was, was really cool that I use a lot, and it sort of harkens back to the, the heritage of Palm, where we want pen and paper onto a PC. Where this is, I can just go through and say, hey, I typed in milk. I want to make a memo because I'm making a grocery list. You just hit the memo button, or if you make type a phone number and you hit the contact button, it'll create a new contact for you and put the information in place. So you're not going to the launcher, going to contacts, making a new contact. You're just typing something in and acting. Same thing with Facebook. You type your Facebook status in and say post, and it posts to it without ever going to the app. We're really trying to be very, very compelling for how we use the operations, how we use the software. Event, calendar, email, I think that, that covers a lot of what it is. We've got a lot more that we're, we're adding into it. We'll have an over there update that all of the pre and pre or fixing devices out there will get the update. Um, it is. So, yeah, all of this will go on to the existing pre and fixing. 